Hello and welcome to this video on Leon from Instruo. Let's check out what's to come. I'd like to thank Instruo for sponsoring the creation of this demo video. And just to give a little name check here, this module was developed by a key member of the Instruo team, I'm Al Scamper. Now Leon, not Lion, Leon, is a six input, six output, pin style matrix. Ins and outs are DC coupled for audio or CV. And we have TRS jacks giving us some interesting capability for routing around a modular system. Now we get these pin cables or pin style cables, which are TRS jacks. So to route this in to that out, we plug one of these into there, giving us this connection. Being TRS, the signal comes out and back in again. We can split an input just with a normal patch cable and this will work like a passive multiple. We can use the insert cables where a TRS cable will send the input out through the black side and return back in through the gold side. And you get a couple of these as well. We can mix audio or CV. We can take advantage of some attenuation waiting. Whereas if we were waiting several different ins across to one out, we could change how that volume interacts towards the final output. We can create feedback loops. We can encode and decode a mid-side matrix by adding a couple of inverters. There's a lot of ways to use this and you can really create a central hub for your modular system. So the timing index is on screen. There's lots of ways to use Leon. I've tried to get lots of them in this video. So do skip around as you see fit. Without further ado, let's dive in. So here's six LFOs, all free running, just out of sync from Oct, coming in to the Leon. And I'm mixing down various LFOs to four of the outputs and feeding Arbor for some nice glitchy shifting random granular goodness. And I can simply re-plug in these little patch cables. Making this a fun way to interact with and play with modulation routings. So here we're looking at insert effects, send and return from the Leon matrix. I'm using the supplied cables, which there's a picture of on screen, where the black output or black bit of the cable is the send, where you send it to something, in this case, delay or reverb, and the gold is what brings the signal back in. If I replace these with just the standard patch cables, input one there is a simple noise hit, and five is my sequence going through the IO47 filter next to it. I could take my insert cable, go off to the reverb, or send, say, the noise to the reverb. And it's as simple as that, using the send and return insert cables to send a signal out of the matrix and back in, patching insert effects through the use of those TRS stereo jacks. So here we're going to look at the gain staging and mixing to a single output from all of the inputs. Now I have a kick and a hi-hat, plenty of reverb in the background, and the output here of Leon is going into a VCA that I'm ducking against my kick. If I open that right up, this is what's happening in terms of my mix. Now if I remove the connections, we can explore the gain 
and the level control that we get coming across. Making a direct connection is full level. So that's the first input to last output there. And as I go backwards, we're going to lose around a third of its level each time. If we were coming directly out of an output, we'd break that normalization. So building up a chord tone again. Nice bit of drive there from the rest of this patch. Adding in my side chain again on my drums and verb. Now playing around, we can change the emphasis in that chord tone. Giving priority and level kind of weighting towards certain notes in this little chord cluster. So this is just a nice short and simple part of the video, just to show that we can simply use this as a passive multiple, splitting signals. right out from an input directly out of this matrix. Because we don't have the TRS, the stereo side of these jacks to send the sound out and back in to route to the main outs, we can simply take any patch cable, send that out where we want and just continue to keep splitting that signal, be it audio or CV out and around a patch. And in this instance, it's some sample and hold in, rooted out six ways into Arbor mangling some guitar. So here I'm using Leon as a router to enable some mid side encoding and mid side decoding from a stereo input to a stereo output. Now I have a stereo beat and if I pull all of my routing so far, now my input is one and two, left and right, and my output here is left and right. So simply routing left to left and right to right, you can hear my dry beat just unprocessed and passed through the Leon. But routing the sum, the left plus the right, to the mid output, simply routing both left and right to my mid, this gray cable, and then on the side, I need to route left minus right, I need to invert the right. So I'm using these insert jacks here to go off to a simple inverter. The side is going off to some nice modulated delay and the mid to some compression. Now, if I route the mid back to both sides, we can hear the compression. It's mono, it's just the mid routed to both my left and right. You can hear the compression. If I route the side, the return of the side through the delay, you can hear my effect. Notice you're not really hearing the kick and snare. And that's because of this mid-size matrix. It allows me to use a mono compressor and a mono effect on a stereo beat and bring that back in stereo. Working in mid-side is a really powerful way to manage stereo signals in a system. So to recode this back properly into stereo, we do the same thing effectively. Mid plus side, is the left signal, and then mid minus side, so I'm using an inverted insert again, gives me mid side. Notice the effects are in stereo. It's a really lovely way to work. It's certainly more obvious in headphones, so if you can't hear this very well on your listening device, grab some headphones. Here I'm using Leon to root feedback removing these little patch loops. My input here is a sequence with an oscillator, bit of FM through a low pass gate. There it is coming straight out to my output that we're recording. However, sending it out of our first output here, I'm using the insert send and return out into my little effect send, which is my feedback loop in itself. And then routing that back. It's left me with some really interesting delay effects. So sound in, out, into my feedback loop. These two are actually connected together. 
and the insert being all of these things in the feedback. So here we're routing six rhythms to six different drum sounds in my mix. And I'm also taking a normal patch cable, just a mono patch cable out as a side chain. So if we listen to my kick against my bass, which I'll unmute in my mixer. Nice stereo bass sound. But I can side chain by passively splitting this gate rhythm out and using that to duck my filter. You can hear that bass is now side chained against the kick. I could say side chain against the snare. Build up a new mix. I could mix as you've already seen me do here say making this snare rhythm also be on my open hat, plug something in as a fill. So a nice way to passively split out a sidechain and play around mixing rhythms. Prepare yourself because this is full on, you'll see. So here we're looking at cross modulation and some particularly filthy sounds at that. Now on the final output I'm stacking up the sounds that we're actually listening to. And it's a mixture of two different sound sources, one is the oscillating IO47 filter and the other is an oscillator with various outputs. So I simply patching it back on itself and to one oscillator that then modulates the other, in that loop we have cross modulation. This is going into a low pass gate. Oof. Let's drop that low pass gate again. God the poor thing sounds like it's suffering there. And there's some pretty beefy cross-modulated waves. So here I just wanted to quickly explain that we can actually amplify signals on Leon. Now I'm coming out of a single output into the blue trace there on the voltage monitor on the data. Single input and it's a voltage that is 1.03 volts when I just plug that single loop patch point in. But as I stack this up, and we get more than two times gain, but less than three times gain. Now doing this with audio, here's a triangle wave. It's gonna go up in level. So here we have a little bit of everything going on. Coming into channel one, using it as a passive mult, just coming out with normal mono cables there to clock my patch. Got three different LFOs, some of them summed with these TRS loops. This output here, some of them passively splitting off to other parts of the patch. We've got an insert with a feedback path around some noisy spring reverb and filtering going on. And that's the end of this video on Leon. Do check out other Instro videos linked in the description, as well as all the links to anything you might want to know about Leon and Instro. Join my growing community over at patreon.com forward slash divkid. Hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.